Greetings. Welcome back to Encrypted, hosted by yours truly, Cryptic. We are live, back again, with more news and more updates on the one, the only, the Parallel. Today, I am pleased to announce the Parallel's very first official NFT box sale, which is currently ongoing from January 3rd till January 18th. If you're wondering what's so special about this, well then let's dive into the nitty gritty details. I can reassure you, you won't want to miss out on this opportunity. If you've been keeping up with my channel, most of you by now probably already know the parallel is a metaverse world where players can fully create and build a world by designing paragons and crafting them by combining different types of ruins. So now, the Parallel has announced the next big event, the NFT Box Sale. The NFT Box Sales is a box selling program that helps Parallelese own the first ruins of the Parallel and get running head start into building the metaverse. What is an NFT box? Well, Ruin Boxes are a type of NFT item released by the Parallel. Each box will contain a number of ruins of various types and rarities. There are three types of NFT boxes, gold, platinum, and diamond. The number of ruins unlocked will depend on the rarity of the box. Note that the acquisition rate of high rarity ruins will decrease in descending order from diamond, platinum, to gold. If you want to participate in buying NFT boxes, you must lock PRL tokens to receive early access purchase tickets in the private pool or participate in first come first serve competition in the public pool. Also note, by purchasing tickets does not guarantee buying a box. It simply increases the chances to buy a box by giving you an advantage of being a parallel token holder. And what are tickets? Well, just like I mentioned, Tickets are used to grant the right to buy ruin boxes early in the private pool. One ticket gives you the right to buy one gold box. Two tickets gives you the right to buy one platinum box. And four tickets gives you the right to buy one diamond box. Tickets will be burned after users buy the corresponding box or the private pool period expires. How do you collect tickets? It's simple you must lock and buy parallel tokens. The amount of tickets received will depend on the amount of parallel locked and the time of the lock. Also note, one user can only lock up to 20,000 parallels and collect up to 30 tickets. This is great as it splits the share evenly so that everyone can partake. Now, in order to easily calculate the number of tickets, Let's have a look at this following formula. The number of tickets collected is equal to locked parallel times locked days divided by 10,000. The ticket number, of course, equals the number of tickets you can buy. Note that one ticket equals 10,000 points. Locked parallel is the total number of parallel you lock in the pool. Locked time is the number of days you can lock parallel. The number of day is your unit. And 10,000 is the number of points needed to earn one ticket. So example, you have 2,000 parallels and you want to lock it within 6.5 days. Therefore, the number of tickets you will receive is 2,000 times 6.5 divided by 10,000, which equals 1.3 tickets. Now, if you're wondering how the decimals work, it always rounds down, unfortunately, but that's fine. If you want to reach two tickets, you're going to have to lock it for longer. The number of parallel and lock time are up to you. However, the larger of these two numbers, the more tickets you will get. Now let's dive into the box details. As we've mentioned, there are gold, platinum, and diamond. The total quantity supply of gold boxes is 5,000, platinum 3,500, and diamond 1,500. And I've mentioned this before, but I'll say it again. Tickets required for a gold box is one, for platinum two, and for 
Diamond 4. And now if you get the chance to buy a box, the unit price for a gold box is 150 BUSD. For platinum, it's 250 BUSD. And for a diamond box, it's 550 PRL, which is 450 BUSD. The valuable ruins drop rate. For a gold box, it's normal. For platinum, it's high. And for diamond, of course, it's the highest. And the number of ruins inside the gold box, you have 3 to 50, platinum 3 to 70, and diamond 3 to 100. So, of course, there are advantages of buying the rarer box as it only increases in ruins drop rate. Now, on the day to open and selling your boxes, your NFTs, well, just remember, users can only buy up to one box at a time. If you want to buy many more boxes, then you will have to do several purchases. Now, what are the benefits of buying rune boxes? Well, this is an opportunity to get rare ruins early with every limited supply. You can trade ruins on Marketplace. Now we're talking Mola. If you're wondering what about these ruins, if you play the parallel and once you dive in, you must know that the ruins are the voxel materials that make up the universe of the parallel. Ruins are used to create paragons, casting tools, weapons, and infrastructure. Ruins are divided into 12 types with 5 ranks with different energy levels. Here you have a look at the list of 12 different types and within every rank starting from legendary to epic, rare, common, and natural. Ladies and gents, this is the Parallel's first NFT box sale. Don't miss out, do your research, and once you're ready, you know what to do. If you made it this far in the video, drop a comment, let me know what you think, and until next time, peace. We will discover on me, bad idea, bitch, I got the gang, we pull up on a Uh, ten toes down and I don't Let's get it, what's poppin', let's go I got a bag, the coins, the flow You got a whip, I got a coupe Shoot for the stars and I land on the moon You got a dog, I got a zoo Dog, she with the sun